Hello everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to Word of the Week. We're going to jump right on in this morning or this afternoon and get our Word of the Week started. Just making sure I got my paper in the right position today because last week I messed up good, didn't I? So this week's word is going to be grace. We all can use a little bit of grace, huh? We're going to just talk about grace. In the dictionary, it is, uh, the definition is simple elegance or refinement of movement. Um, so the Lord is compassionate and gracious and he's slow to anger. He's abounding in love and the, uh, the God of all grace who called you in his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while what will himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast isn't that a wonderful scripture um i just love it um and if you get a moment look up ephesians 2 8 and 9 and read that um i'm sorry i don't have my bible just a minute let me see if i can grab a bible This day, we are so spoiled to um, our phones. So most of the time, sadly to say, I read my Bible on my phone. And I'm trying to get out of that habit because I'd rather pick up my Bible and read it in my Bible rather than trying to go to the internet and read it. And it just takes away um, the real trueness for me. So let's look up Ephesians. This will be the King James Version that we're reading out of today. Ephesians 2. Then we're going to jump down to verses 8 and verses 9. I, I love the King James Version, but it is a little harder for me to understand. But this shouldn't be. So verses 8 and 9 says... For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. That's another, um, another good scripture. So there's nothing, therefore, that um, we can do to receive grace. We are saved through faith, so we don't have to work for that. Um we're saved by grace. Um, so God, God's grace in, uh, was so important that he, in, he infused Noah's story by grace. Um, he, in, he endures, uh, in spite of Abraham's and Sarah's uh, unbelief, he, his grace endures. Um, God's grace for jo Joseph gave him strength and perseverance. And then in Moses, when he doubted God, God's grace um, led him at every turn and, and guided him graciously through his walk. Uh, so there's evidence of uh, evidence of God's grace. We are able to um, freely give to others as we realize that all we have to all we have received from Jesus, this is when we know our deeds of um, moving our evidence of God's grace in our lives. And we will love others, you know, accordingly or love them best when we, are, when we know that we are loved by God. Um, so what does it mean to walk in God's grace? Well, walking... Uh, in God's grace is believing what God says about us and um, letting that guide us uh, and, and guard us uh, with embracing it uh, and its truth and not believing the lie, but to live by faith. So uh, all of that was really interesting to me. If your word of the year was grace and I meant to look and see whose word was grace for this year but if it was your word please share with us a little bit what you about what you've learned and give us different opinions on 
how God is speaking to you with your word. And um, share with us because it's interesting to go a little bit deeper and study about the words that we're looking up and the words that God has given us for the year. Okay, so we're going to kind of do some little cute little lettering today. Um, we're going to start out just kind of a, you know, just a, just writing a letter basically. And we're going to do grace. And then I'm going to just do like a little, I don't know, kind of like an X, but I don't know, kind of different from an X, but it's X because we're going to make it a little, maybe a little wider. Because I kind of want it to look like a flower is my, my goal. So we may make it a little flowery. And then let's do G, I mean R. We did G. I'm going to come back and do my um, my little flower part. G, R, A, C, and E. Okay. Like I said, we're going to come back and do our little, our little uh, flower things. And then we're going to come around and I'm going to do like a twirly thing. I think we've kind of done this before on one of our pictures, but we're going we're gonna to try to do it just a little yep. bit different. Uh, we're going to try to do this just a little bit different on our page and get this started. And kind of come up with some different ideas here. And maybe do, why don't we just do some, like some little flowers around here. So let's do some circles all around here. We'll color those in, so don't worry about the lines. We'll add some different little um, style to it. Don't ever worry about messing up art. Can't mess it up. Don't compare yourself either. There's no joy in comparing. You are you. Your art is beautiful. There is no ugly art. So don't ever think that. Don't believe that lie. Please share your art. There's an album. And under albums. That says word art. Place your photo there. And let us see. Share the fun. Because I really seriously love to see it. And so does everybody else. Okay, we got our little circles, and now we're going to go back and put, you know, just a few leaves maybe here and there. Um, let's see how we could do that. Maybe. Maybe just a little, you know, like little bitty leaves here and there. Now, that's my grandbaby. My husband has got her stirred up. If I'm going live or doing anything that I need things to be a little bit settled, it happens every time. Any other time, nothing happens. Not necessarily that it's quiet, but it's not rambunctious. So if you hear them playing loudly, I apologize. If you don't hear them, good. But I guess I can't expect her to be really quiet. She's four. And look, y'all don't have to do everything that I'm doing um, or the way that I'm doing mine. You're free to do your photo like you are you're drawing like you want to do it so please do that that's what makes it fun 
and interesting. Now I'm gonna start coloring mine, but I may not finish mine. And last week, I apologize. Uh, it seems like I'm all the time apologizing, so maybe I just need to stop apologizing because y'all have gotten used to that. I can't stay on track, and it looks like I'm not telling the truth because I can't. Uh, my time has been jerked right away from me lately, and my schedule's been off, and things that are just unreal, if you even knew, you would understand. Um, or maybe you would. I don't even know if you'd understand. But, um, anyways, I forgot to post last week our word. I just was looking through my tablet and saw it and realized that I did not post it. So it was late getting posted. Today, when I get through with this one, I will go ahead and post it and hopefully won't get off track. Okay, then we're gonna put us maybe some a few little um, butterflies here, and I'm just doing little simple drawings. I'm not doing you know uh, fancy techniques and artwork. Not being too detailed. I'm doing detailed. I'm just kind of. Um, Throwing little shapes on paper. But you can get as fancy as you would like to get. Okay. And then maybe we will put, um, I'm not going to write, I'm just going to put, um, grace, let's see, what does the verse say? It said, for by grace are ye saved. I'm going to put, for by grace we are saved and then I'm gonna just put the uh, put Ephesians and then I'm gonna just write the scripture two eight three nine. I'm going to sign my name and today's date. Word of the year. And today is May. Oh my goodness, this year is already flying by. If you have not seen our retreat shirts, please take a look at them. Um, there are actually two different blues. Um, we are running low on sizes. Um, two X, three X, four X, and we are running a little low on the extra large and larges. We have a couple of smalls and a few well, we don't have very many mediums either, but if you're interested, please let me know, um, and I will let you know if we have enough available to fill an order. But if you're interested, please let me know. I do have quite a few of the blues that are not um, in the picture, but if you're interested in that blue, I can uh, just send you a picture of it through your messenger, so just let me know. I get my little markers out here but um the retreat are um t-shirts are being used uh, for the retreat to it's just a fundraiser thing that we're doing to help pay for the retreat if you're interested it, we would love for that for your support 
Okay, like I said, I'm not gonna finish coloring all of it. I'm just gonna give you a general idea. And I'm gonna just, so you don't have to sit here and be bored watching me do all my little flowers. And, Cause this sometimes can get time consuming. I always open up my markers on the fat part and then I can't remember to do the skinny part. And then you can color yours any color you want to. You can do different colors, like, you know, red, pink, yellow, blue, if you want to. Um, I'll probably highlight my line in um, a different color. Um, and then my little flowers here, I think I will make them Maybe, let's see, I kind of like this blue here. So I think I will. What I'm going to do is this right here. And I may outline it kind of just to show you, you know, the. To show you kind of that it looks, it's supposed to look like a little flower. And again, this is your choice on how you want it to look and what you want it to be, how you want it done. So feel free to do your own style. Okay, that's kind of what it's going to look like. And I may even do my letter a little wider or something just to just to, I think I got my picture all in this time and didn't mess it up. Then I'll go back and color my little butterflies a certain color so that we can see it pretty well. And let's see, I don't know what color I'm gonna use to do my butterflies, but let's see how we can do our butterflies here. Let's do, hey baby. Do maybe like a yellow in the middle here. Can I draw me? And let's do maybe some let's do some pink and maybe some like a darker pink here. And then I'll do a lighter pink in the middle. And then maybe do some different colors. on the other two. Oops, let's use this other pink. And that's going to be it, ladies. I'm going to wind it up because it's going to get rowdy in here. So I know. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to let you all go and I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon and we will be seeing you around. Thanks, ladies. Bye-bye.